Well, hello! This is Jim Desm, Jim and Larry channel, and now I will do the first video in my series of tutorials of basic wire tutorials. Well, I'm googling around a bit of uh, on wire tutorials, um, and they're quite hard to find any good uh, wire tutorials. So. I thought that, uh, well, if you're starting with uh, wire mod, you might want really, really basic wire tutorials. So this will be the first part in my really basic wire tutorials, and we are going to make a very basic wire car. And first, we just choose the, you know, basic props. Um, for the sake of basicness and first I will make this really simple and then we will make a bit more sophisticated version of a wire car so you you want to spawn a plate a any plate just like this one times two plastic plate and we want to spawn some wheels and well, just choose this uh, or not that they're so big, like these. No, um, it's always hard to choose wheels. These are nice. Four wheels, props, and freeze them all in the air, and then. You, now we have these wheels, so we're just going to. I have this nice add-on called Smart Snap, so I can take this grid and make really good precision. So we want to left-click on the wheel and then on the plate. It doesn't have to be exact; it's just good if it's this. So that. And the last wheel, like that. So now we can aim at this and press left click and just reload it. Press reload and then we unfreeze it all. So then we right click to freeze it again. And we're going to go to the vehicles tab up here and choose chairs. And we are going to choose the office chair. It doesn't matter which chair you choose, just choose any chair you like. And we're going to drop it down, freeze it a bit up in the air, and then we're going to take our welding tool, click once on that and once on the base plate. Like that. Now we have the outline for a car. And now we're going into the wire tab. And this long list of tools, don't let it scare you. Most of these things uh, I never use. But there are some really, really good stuff in here. That's why you need wire mod. And you're going to scroll down to wire one slash zero. And down the list you found pod controller spawn this pod controller by left clicking anywhere in the car and then you have to link it to this chair that you do by right clicking on the pod controller and then right clicking on the chair now it's linked it says down in the right down corner so now it's linked and now we need something to make this move forward and those are called thrusters. Um, there are lots of models, and the thing with thrusters are uh, that the heavier they are, the more powerful they are. The size doesn't matter in this case, it's just the weight. Um, but 
small props usually have low weight, uh, large props usually have heavy weight. We want to choose a quite weak thruster. And we are going to we want an effect on this thruster. It doesn't matter what you choose, it's uh, just to make it easier for us. I would choose plasma. Um, it's just easier for us, for us to tell when it's on or off. Um, we just force multiplier and force maximum to max and we just force minimum to nothing. And we will spawn it in the back of the car. And now comes the wiring. Scroll down at the bottom of the wire tab list and you just choose wire advanced. I don't know why it's still called wired advanced because no one uses the regular wire tool anymore. So left click on the thruster and then left click on the pod controller. And then you want to scroll, use your scroll or uh, secondary click to choose a button you want to use the thruster by. And I will choose W. So it will move forward when I press W and R in the share. So we're getting the share. This indicator says that it's on. And now I press W. It's really fast, but it moves forward. So, well, now we need some steering. And making the steering is just as easy. And we want to move backwards also. So, we go into wire tab again, find thruster and spawn it here and then to turn now the wheels are like in the way um, so I will just spawn those on the ground like that and I know that uh, the plasma will come from the upside of this one so And we're just going to freeze them into place and manually weld them. When you spawn a thruster on something, uh, it's welded. But it doesn't weld to the world. So, this thruster, left click on that and left click on port controller and choose S. This thruster will make it go to the left. So. I'll want to wire that to A. And this thruster I want to logically enough wire to D. So now we can test the car again. Okay, it's on. We move forward, we can turn. Now the turning is very fast. And oops. That's one thing you might want to know that if you spawn a thruster that is too strong you just scroll down the list on the wire thrusters and just choose something lower like more lower cache like whoops like that just lower we're going to lower all of those so we'll have a it's still quite powerful and well Actually, we're going to lower this a lot. We're going to mark this and just manually writing to 200. The same down here. And just update all the wire thrusters by left clicking them. Like that. Now we have a more realistic car. So, well, that's how to make a very basic ACF car, but now we're going to alter this to a little more sophisticated system. Yes, we are going to remove l lots of thrusters. 
just take your remover tool, remove this. Ah. Let's remove that. And we will spawn a new thruster for steering. Just with the same settings. And we'll, we'll install it like here. Like the, the like they was put in the middle and the forward. Um, and then we'll take a wiring tool and click reload on it so we unlink it. And now we're going to dive a little bit into gates. Then you you scroll up a lot to the top of the list and you wire control. Here you have lots of advanced stuff and gates. While you press gate, you get up this menu down here. You want to click on Artemic gates to the plus sign. I know there are a lot of gates, but truth is I, I only use about 10 of them. Less, like 7 or something. And you see here, there are lots of our gates. Don't let that scare you. We just want an add gate. We're going to choose large, larger gates. An add gate here. And an add gate here. Um, and also we want to have a negate gate which we spawn beside it here and one here. Negate and add. Well, we're now going to check thrusters because for this we need to have some special options. If you uh, by some reason have unclicked by directional, this will not work, but it is uh, clicked by default, so this should work if you haven't unclicked it. Well, these are bi-directional, uh, as I said, and now we're going to wire them up. We're going to wire A to the add gate by left-clicking the thruster and then the gate. And then we're going to do the same for the steering. Left-click and then on the add gate, left-click. And we are want to connect B to negate. You can connect any of the any of those to negate. It doesn't matter. But I just want to do that. So and now we're going to connect A to W. And we're going to connect negate. To S and this will make it go backwards so you can guess how the steering will work this is connected as I did before to the add gate yes and a on the add gate we will connect to you see the thruster is going to spurt out its plasma this way that means we want to connect it to D. And then negate, we will connect to A. Like this. It works like a charm. And now we'll press S and it goes backwards. So now we have a, a lot more sophisticated wire car, which not uses a lot of thrusters. Uh, it's always good to minimize stuff you use that uses physics because then you minimize some lag. And well, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you in any way um, because this is a very basic wire tutorial. And uh, well, I'm just going to fast. No, I can't make that. I thought that you could strap a car on it, but that will really be ugly, so we will just not. Well, 
So if you're new, new to wire, um, this should really help you. So if you have any questions about how to connect wire stuff on this level, just ask in the comments and uh, well, I hope this tutorial have helped you to come into wire mod because wire mod is super awesome. You can make a lots of cool stuff with it. So thanks for watching and I hope I will be seeing you again. Gmodism out.